My name is Jesse Shapens. I'm one of the founders of the MetaLab at Harvard, which is a new experimental hub for digital humanities and innovation in the arts and media at the Berkman Center. I mean, for me, I think that one of the major strengths of this event specifically was the uniqueness of the, of the people that were brought together in a common conversation. I mean, it's extraordinarily rare that you have architects and lawyers and economists and people focused on technology in a single space having a common conversation. Um, so that in and of itself was just a sort of fascinating experience. For me, I think what was interesting to see is sort of a reframing um, my work has tended to focus on sort of thinking about how virtual space can augment physical spaces. Um, and I think that the ways in which we th we're able to see today different definitions of publicness that move between physical and virtual spaces um, was really exciting. Um, and the ways in which those types of new forms of publicness can play a significant role in political action, I really appreciated um, Ethan Zuckerman's presentation. Um, I found the way that he actually moved through kind of his, you know, cute cat theory to kind of really exposing the challenges that that theory um, has built into it in terms of the ways that it is built on top of what have now become these major public venues that are private um, corporations and the infrastructures provided by private corporations. The, the group of artists and designers within uh, the Meta Lab have put together a project called the Oracle, um, and our idea was to try to just very quickly, it was something that we came up with over the last couple of days, do some type of little intervention that would draw attention to some of the major topics around private and public. Um, and so what we thought might be interesting was to, we knew that everybody at the conference would be tweeting um, with the hashtag hyperpublic, um, and so what we did was say what would be, we would then knew that we could go and get the information of all the people that were then tweeting. We knew who those people were. And then we were actually able to go into their Twitter archive and see all the tweets that they'd made previously and try to find the ones that would be most personal. Statements that they maybe didn't remember posting, little messages about, you know, having wine on a terrace or some little like romantic exchange. Messages that weren't necessarily of, you know, a, you know, a comment on an important New York Times article, you know, these kind of very personal messages that filter into these types of public spaces and to bring those to life. And so we wrote an algorithm that tried to select for those types of messages from the people here and then created an installation where there's a projection of all those messages. Um, and then we wanted to take the next step of bringing those type of virtual sort of statements into a physical form. And so came up with the idea of using a uh, a receipt printer, um, finding a very sort of vintage technology, and uh, connecting it to the to our to a computer to be able to print little statements, so that people could take away um, those little kind of aphorisms um, and save them as sort of little semi-permanent recollections of other people's. Uh, experiences and in a certain sense also maybe create some degree of uh, uncomfortability in the room where you know somebody's taking somebody else's personal statements and um, you know saving that in their records.